everyone in this video we are going to talk about a topic that is highly requested by you how to use open ai function calling into the bubble now if you tried calling a open ai api in a past you know it sent back a simple text and it's pretty much hard to find any information from that unformatted text but recently open ai launches a function calling a method so you can pass a particular function or a particular of type of response you want and OpenAI will return only that type of the response. If you are ready to make your life uh, much easier and stick around as we unveil the magic of OpenAI function calling in bubble.io. Let's get it started. So before directly jumping on the bubble, I use a tool like Insomia, uh, not sponsored obviously. I use a tool Insomia to verify my API calling and how is it clear working and then just simply copy paste and into the bubble and then also I will show you that. So let's get back to the topic. So if you ever use an open AI call like this one where you just want a list of exercises and you pass that prompt it will send you this response like here's the list of and all this and yeah and it's pretty a simple plain text you can't format anything and put it into the repeating group or you want to run any operation on that. It's pretty hard, right? You need to use a regrex uh, and everything. But if you use a function calling, uh, this is the example of the function calling. I'm using the same prompt uh, that I was using in the last uh, API calling and it gave me response in this particular format because I requested it. Just remove slash n, copy that response again and then paste it and then remove the slash n. Line number one, b, uh, reps 12, is a 12, this one is 12. Ah, ah, sorry, I just forget to, no, sorry. I just forget this object. And if you see, this is a proper format and then you can show this into the uh, repeating group and whatever the you want to do the task, right? So let me show you how actually you can do. But before, let me just explain you how you created a function. So for example, if you need this kind of a lift, if you see, it have a lift of lift and then each object have a three variable, like name, number of sets and everything. The same way we will define it here, like we will give, uh, this is the array and then we will name it as from XI lift. You can name it anything you want and put a description and each description thing, think of it as a prompt, the prompt you are giving to the open AI apart from this prompt, obviously. So this is a description that is a list of exercises. Then it's a parameter. Every time you need to, uh, like, uh, put further down the object and so you will pass at all the parameter inside that. So first we need an object. If you see, it's an enclosed with that object. So we will pass first type is equal to object and the properties. And then we will define this object properties. Properties basically what going to be inside that object. So we will have a array. So we will define it array. So name it XI lift. This is the key that comes on. And then define type is equal to array and description. Now this array consists of object then we will say item what is the all the item of this uh, array then it is going to be type is equal to object and then all the properties and if you see here we have defined uh, exercise name as a string and number of sets recommendation is equal to integer right and all the key is this number of set you can change it key whatever you just feel like okay so this api response give you a text it still give you text but in a but much formatted response so we'll just going to copy it so simply click here and click a copy as curl copy and then put it uh, into our api simple create a api function calling and then we will say fetch exercise lift and make it as an action and oh sorry simply we have curls so we can simply import it so we will delete that and yeah this is it will take some time 
and if you see all the response in a proper formatted kind of text now one more thing we need to do it this gives you a kind of json text but we need to convert that text into the json how we will do that okay we will go in backend workflow and create our own api it's a new api workflow say convert text to json right we will need to check that all we will pass a raw text and then simply a uh, call return data from the api rather than we will uh, choose other content type pass the app content type of the json this is the content type for the json and simply return back whatever we are uh, sending it that's it now if you get its uh, api so if you click here cancel it manual back to manual and go to again our api connector and set up our api or we can inside it inside the function calling also convert text to json paste that url remove the initialized thing and make it post because the api were post and that have a parameter data parameter raw text right we need to pass that uh, response that is coming from the open ai but removing that extra thing because bubble will not convert that into uh, bubble will not uh, convert bubble will not remove that uh, text like slash and, and all the extra thing yes now if you see there's send you the uh, proper json format you can do it, it you can use it to whatever you can so in a repeating loop whatever you just want to do it uh, okay so now we will get back to our uh, page that is a function calling uh, simply create a one button first that will first call okay just one second just one need to make it as a action so that we can call it and also this will be action so first we will call a open ai api function calling with so what is the api name function calling fetch exercise list and again we need to uncheck this because we don't want to change it accordingly and simply say it as a thing and this is the prompt that we are wants to pass you can change it according to your need then what we will do simply store it into the custom variable function calling formatted data result of this uh, choices first item and then content then we have to replace it uh, we, we have to whatever the uh, data come we have to first uh, find and replace first we need to replace slash n with empty with the basically remove that slash n and then we need to again find and replace all these slashes that's it now we will call display oh we need to first drag repeating group because we want to show all the data in the repeating group simply this one make it a little bit big and then the tags simply pass copy paste and now we see display hit and the lift and that is going to be oh now we have a tags but we need to convert that into the json lift how we will do because we already have set up the api now we we are going to call that api so function calling convert text to json and that instead of a, we will pass the data from uh, function calling formatted data perfect and then display whatever the response that we get from the api xi lift and now simply change it to current cell name second we want to show number of sets next we want to show 
number of wraps that's it we'll just click on preview when you click on call function calling it will first call a open open api calls then formatted the text and then again call it the convert my text into the json and look here now it is in proper format you can do any task whatever the you required for a business logic and yeah do that so that's it if you have any question or you need help with the creating a function uh, ping me i can maybe help you and if you have anything just comment it down and i'm happy to answer it thank you very much